Ladies and gentlemen, we have come a long, long way from where we first were where the channel started. Not only were we covering Twiwi, but we also started covering Melty Blood Type Lumina. And now Melty Blood Type Lumina has reached three years old. And what a three years it has been from all the crazy DLC characters they threw at us, as well as the larger than life story that is still continuing to this day. Type Moon is giving Tsukihime fans something great. And it doesn't seem like they intend to stop here. And in fact, for the third anniversary of Melty Blood Type Lumina, they seem to be going about it a little bit different than the past few years. Not only have they gotten a new branch on their website that has all the history up till now, accounting for all the different things that I've been talking about, they even posted a new third anniversary survey that we need to fill out. We filled out one last year, and I'm sure this one might be a bit different than that one. What if they ask us about some characters? Anyways, let's get into it. It says we have decided to conduct a survey for the re regular Melty Blood type Luna players with the aim of improving quality of service. We would appreciate cooperation in the survey below. The deadline for responses is October 7th, um, PDT. So it literally ends like literally the day that this video is going to drop, but that's okay. Um, I hope you guys have been able to fill it out um, and get your information and things like that and feedback in there. Um, I will definitely include my email to be recorded in the response. I think it's, it matters to everyone. I, I feel like um, there's the number of questions is only like 19 questions. Nothing too crazy. Um, choose your age. You know, we are getting up there 25 to 34. It's actually funny because I remember we used to be in this bracket when this game started and now we're over in the next bracket. That's actually so crazy how long the game has been up. My gender, male. What region do you live in? I live in North America, of course, you know, we're North Americaners out here. Uh, what made you decide to buy Melty Blood type Lumina? Uh, it's a fighting game. The story's really dope. The characters are dope. I actually do like the voice actors. Um, promotions, yeah. Uh, reviews, not for me necessarily. And other uh, legacy to the series, I love you know, Tsukihime and things like that as well. So, Melty Blood's a natural fit, you know. Uh, what information source did you get when you referred to purchasing Melty Blood type Lumina? Um, I checked out the Lumina website, the Twitch, or the Twitter rather. Um, I also checked out Type Moon related sites. And yeah, that's it. That's it for me personally. I'm sure a lot of you guys will probably reference other things in here because I might have been a reason that you got into it. I know some people were like, hey, Zeta, you know, thank you for getting me into the series. The series is really, really cool. I like the gameplay a lot. And it's funny because people are even coming back around to this game and they're saying, yo, I was a little bit too hard on Melty Blood because now every game kind of has that mechanic, that shield kind of started off being in it. And now a lot of gamers are coming back to Melty and saying, you know, shield isn't really that bad. It's not that crazy. Uh, which period did you purchase Melty Blood Type Lumina? I purchased it when it first came out, day one. Um, what hardware did I buy it for? I bought it for literally everything, actually. I bought it for literally everything. And it's funny, because I even got the Xbox version to play with some people, and then I think they got a PlayStation, and then we didn't end up playing on the Xbox version at all. Um, it's crazy. How often do I play Melty Blood? Several times a week, for sure, still. I still play it several times a week, just to even feel out, just to get some buttons in you know just to do it literally um so let's see what is your favorite part of melty blood type lumina the game system story and characters as well as other things um i think something that is really really understated about the game is its music its presentation overall is really really fun still it still seems very very silly but also can be very very serious how satisfied am i with the game i'm pretty satisfied um tell the reason we need more characters more legacy characters from melty blood series and i'm gonna like state these in here just like you know actually again cadenza you know cadenza etc right etc what non-game content would you like to see consider for future implementation official tournaments again i want to see another series of tournaments going off for melty blood type lumina that'd be really really cool 
um, live broadcasts. I mean, more live broadcasts would be cool, I guess. More merch to buy for sure. Um, what do you think is the best thing about Melty Blood Type Luna compared to other games? The movement is very fun in the game. I think the movement is very fun in the game. I think that's what it is. It's like for me, like having two double jumps and still being able to air dash, it feels like you can just move anywhere in this game and I love it. I love every second of that. Uh, would you recommend this game to others? Duh. I'm recommending it to people every day. Every day I can, I will recommend it. Who is my favorite Melty Blood character? Wow. And they're going for the like the list. Uh, mm, my favorite character, I guess, as you guys wouldn't be surprised, is Shiki Tono. Shiki Tono is so sick. I still love him to this day. I've been playing him since day one. Uh, please let us know what goods you would like to buy so that you can use them as a reference for the future. Uh, let's see. I would like to buy posters because I love to have posters for that back wall back there. You can't see it right now. Posters, shirts, I guess, shirts. So like, and the manga. So because the manga being stuck in Japanese is kind of like bleh. Cause I mean, we have translators that translate it for sure, but I would love to have a localized version of it. So I can just go to my shelf and read it whenever I want to and enjoy that. Do you play any other fighting games other than Melty Blood type Lumina? Yeah, I play a lot of different fighting games. Uh, we play Grand Blue, we play Tekken. We play a lot of them. Like we can't pick more than one. Why can't we pick more than one? That's so weird. That is so weird. <clears throat> I'll probably pick Grand Blue though, because Grand Blue, I would say, is the one that I think you guys know me most for. Tekken is what I've been playing a lot more recently. Um, Under Night is also a great game as well. Have you recently participated in any Melty Blood type Luna tournaments? Uh, yeah, I participate about once a uh, several times a year ish. Um, as I can. Um, let me see. Please tell us the URL of the channel or video you're referring to when searching for entertainment. I mean, do I refer? Do I refer to myself? Is that is that crazy of me to say that? Who do I refer to? I mean, you know, we got Majin Obama out here doing a great job, and it's funny because he got his video out before I got this one out, which is on me, by the way. But there's a reason. I promise. Uh, we have, you know, Majin Obama. We have me. We got Juna. Like. We got, you know, Laroon, we got Chupika, like, I don't know. I mean, there's definitely a few people that do some, you know, great Melty Blood content. We also have Red Muffler, man. Shout out to Red Muffler, man. Uh, great dude. Love that dude. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna put my name on here. Can I, can I do that? Is that crazy, chat? Is that is that crazy? If I do that, right? Let me know in the comments. Is that crazy that I'm going to put myself in here? Because if I put myself in here, it's gonna look real crazy. It's gonna look real crazy, y'all. It's gonna look real crazy, but um, we're gonna put it in there. YouTube.com slash Zeta Slow. Check him out. You know, he's pretty cool. He's, he's all right most times. Uh, we definitely cover, you know, multiple type of over here. So hopefully there's some new news to cover very, very soon. I'll also be making some videos to go with the third anniversary a little bit more so than not. Um, so look forward to those. Anyways, let's hit the submit button. Response has been recorded. Let's go. And that's pretty much it. That's all we wanted to do today. I kind of wanted to bring you guys, you know, the greatness of Melty Blood right before we get into this busy gaming season. I definitely want you guys to know I have not forgotten about Melty Blood. I still love it just as much as I've loved it before. Um, it's just there hasn't been much like on the news side of it. And that kind of bums me out a little bit. I'm sure it bums you out, too, if you're clicking on this video. Um, but yeah, anyways, please show some love for Melty Blood down below in the comment section. You know, share a favorite memory share how you got into this channel i don't know how did you get into this channel did you get into it from melty did you get into it from jojo's grand blue we've covered an array of things but melty is always you know that that first well i guess that second love because tweety is always first love but anyways comment down below share your favorite memory also like the video up a lot and if you want to please subscribe if you're new here um it helps me out a lot we have a lot of other games that we are going to be covering in these coming days. Uh, we're going to be covering some Hunter x Hunter. We'll be talking a little bit about this Dragon Ball game. I mean, I don't really, you know, normally go over there, but we're going to go over there just to, to have a little fun, you know, enjoy some YouTube. And I have a lot of other surprises coming that you guys don't know about. Anyways, until next time, it's been your boys that slow. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay groovy. Until next time, each and every one of you have a great one. We out of here. Peace. Y'all be good.